Hello everyone. Welcome to the NSF Convergence Accelerator Expo. It is a great opportunity for our team to present our project of developing quantum enhanced sensors for positioning, navigation, and imaging. Our team comprises universities, leading companies in the industry, and national labs to jointly create the first transformative quantum technology. Our team has identified inertial sensing as a widely desired and influential technology. And we envisioned that initial sensing is going to play a very big role in multiple domains, including space exploration, search and rescue in, for example, a forest environment, mining and agriculture vehicles. But here, let's use autonomous vehicles as an example. Self-driving cars typically rely on GPS signals to navigate. However, in certain environments, such as in a urban environment, GPS signals are not always necessarily present. For example, when a car is driving through a tunnel or on a bridge, there could be a GPS signal outage. Initial sensors provide an alternative solution to navigate in the absence of GPS signals. In addition, initial sensors also provide information that GPS signal is unable to offer, including direction of driving and angle of tilt. These pieces of information could be important to ensure the safety of the passengers. At the present, initial sensors can be broadly classified into two categories. The higher end sensors are typically very bulky and expensive, but they provide superior performance. In contrast, lower end initial sensors are compact, but their performance for sharp, for sharp short of the desired performance level of navigation. The vision of our team is to develop quantum sensing technology to fill the gap. To this end, we did extensive market analysis with Honeywell. And what we have found was that in the next five years, there is going to be a sharp growth in the high-end initial system market. In particular, the growth is driven by strong demand in the industrial space, spanning from satellite constellation to unmanned aerial vehicles, to self-driving cars, and to autonomous robots. And we want to develop quantum enhanced sensing technology to grasp a significant portion of this market. To this end, we have formulated our phase one team and accomplished many scientific achievements. In particular, our team has built a prototype for entangled optomechanical sensors. In our prototype, squeeze light is used to create entangled probes to sense two optomechanical sensors. And here is a picture of our low fidelity prototype. In our experiment, we have verified both the sensitivity enhancement and the bandwidth enhancement, which have proven not only the feasibility of quantum enhanced optomechanical sensing, but its value. In phase two, we would like to readily integrate all the individual components into a compact quantum enhanced initial measurement unit solution. In our solution, there is a quantum enhanced gyroscope, which will be jointly developed by Honeywell and the University of Arizona. In addition, we'll have a quantum enhanced accelerometer for linear acceler acceleration measurements. And the accelerometer will be developed by Purdue University, Texas A&M, NASA JPL, and the University of Arizona. General Dynamics will be responsible of developing a backend processing and control unit to oversee the entire system. We did performance analysis on 
the performance of the quantum enhanced accelerometers and gyroscopes and compare the performance with the classical state-of-the-art solution. We found that the quantum enhanced solution will enable one to two orders of magnitude performance enhancement over state-of-the-art classical solutions. To accomplish the phase two goals, we have laid out a roadmap. Specifically, in the first six quarters, we will have three parallel developments of the gyroscopes, the accelerometers, and the backend processing and control unit. Each individual component will be first developed, followed by calibration and tests. Subsequently, NASA JPL will lead the overall integration and the test of the quantum enhanced initial measurement unit, along with all the other team members. Beyond phase two, we have envisioned to grow an ecosystem for quantum enhanced sensing research and development. The NSF Convergence Accelerator program will allow us to reach a TIO level between four and five. And going beyond, our industry partner, such as Honeywell, will talk, take over this technology by tech transfer and further use their internal RNB funding and external customer funding for system validation in relevant environment. And eventually, we're going to transition into a engineering phase for product demo and a few tests. And the product development will be accompanied by integrated product delivery and support, ranging from business decision to product concept development, to design and development, to product validation, and all the way to product delivery. We have also envisioned track integration and quantum ecosystem activities. In particular, as a byproduct of this program, we will fabricate and assemble turnkey quantum source modules, which will be used to support the research of other convergence accelerator teams and the broader quantum community, as well as to support education and broadening participation activities. In addition, we'll publish documentations for our University of Arizona's clean room facility so that the broader quantum tech community will be able to leverage our state-of-the-art facility to make their own devices. We anticipate that our quantum enhanced sensing technology will create broader impacts, ranging from space control and the planetary exploration to autonomous vehicles and the robots. And this technology will also allow us to build ultra precise sensors for health monitoring, which would be a critical technology for early disease detection and diagnostics. Finally, we have envisioned this technology to be very useful for physical explorations, such as the discovery of new physics, including dark matter and dark energy. Our team would like to thank you very much for your attention.